Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Friday, August 31st. The stage is set for Philadelphia's Made in America Festival. The concert brings some of the biggest names in entertainment to the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. Tomorrow's lineup includes Post Malone and Meek Mill. Sunday's lineup includes Kendrick Lamar and Nicki Minaj. There are road closures and traffic restrictions for the weekend. Get all the information you need on our website at cbsphilly.com. Now to a vicious attack caught on camera in South Philly. Police want you to take a close look at this video. Investigators say a 29-year-old man was walking on the 400 block of Dickinson Street at around 3.15 Wednesday morning on August 15th. Two men came up from behind, threw him to the ground, and started kicking the victim. One of the suspects reportedly pulled out a knife and then robbed the man. And authorities in Delaware seized more than 100 pounds of cocaine hidden inside boxes of pineapples. A narcotics dog with Wilmington police alerted agents to the boxes at the Port of Wilmington on Wednesday. Officials found vacuum sealed strips of cocaine concealed inside of the bottom flaps of the boxes. That has a street value of more than $3 million. So far, no arrests. All right, let's check in now with Katie and get a check on today's forecast. Hi, Katie. Hey, there, Rahel. Not ideal, certainly. While today isn't a total washout, we definitely have some pretty drenching rain. It's already had uh, its impact on the morning drive. But as the day progresses, this is sort of a theme here. You can expect rounds of rain to come through almost at any time. Some of it will be heavy. And we've also had embedded thunderstorms also, uh, you know, with any of the rounds that have already come through. Amounts, generally speaking, up to about a half an inch. But there will be spots where it's locally higher. We already have in fact, an inch of rainfall in northern Burlington County, for example. Lots of clouds if it's not raining, simply because that wind flow is now on shore. So while it's nowhere near as hot, our temperature only in the 70s throughout the day, it's certainly still humid. And that definitely goes for the Phil's game tonight as well. Any maybe Friday night light football games that you're going to, it does look like you might need to have some spare rain gear just to be on the safe side. But the wettest time frame is definitely today. And then we start to see things get just a little drier with every passing day. Although there is a shot for a shower or a thunderstorm at minimum right through Labor Day. And it's also getting hotter by that point too, Rahel. All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecasts and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.